Hey, mayors from across the country, including eight from North Carolina, met with lawmakers in Washington. They were there to discuss what to do about so-called ghost guns. A ghost gun is a gun assembled from parts, and while it's legal, it's a new way for certain people to avoid background checks and registration requirements. Right now, there are no statewide bans in either North or South Carolina. NBC Charlotte's Rad Berkey is live for us this evening. Rad, tell us how concerned law enforcement is about these guns, these ghost guns. Well, here is what the concern is. Let's say I want a gun with no serial number that's untraceable. Well, actually, I can go on the web and order parts like this 22 caliber rifle barrel here. And once all of the parts are at my house, I simply put it together myself. Ghost guns were mainly something that hobbyists did in the past. Charlotte gun store owner Larry Hyatt says building a gun from individual parts is legal. Uh, you can build your own gun for your own personal use, just like you can make your own beer or wine, but you can't resell it. The problem faced by law enforcement, though, is that some of these unregistered and untraceable firearms are turning up at crime scenes. In November of 2019, a teenager used a homemade handgun to kill two of his classmates and wound three others. You can look at numerous pages on the internet where you can buy gun parts, even find instructions on how to put them together. Some take more skill than others, and some people use 3D printers to create the receiver, the part that is the essence of the gun with its critical components. People that could not pass a background check are purchasing these unfinished receiver kits and making firearms because they know that if they went to a gun store, they wouldn't be able to pass a background check. Charlotte Mecklenburg Police in a statement said firearms built through kits do not necessarily identify themselves through markings, so it is not searchable by us under query. Larry Hyatt says his shop sells some parts for guns, but not the critical pieces to make the finished product a usable firearm. Now, the mayors who met with lawmakers in Washington today have a lot of concerns, one of which is that companies who sell parts like this gun rifle barrel don't require me to provide any sort of background information. Reporting live in Uptown, Rad Berkey, NBC Charlotte. Rad, thank you.